Hello everyone, this is my 2022 Ford F-150 Lightning uh, Lariat version. It has a standard range battery. I'm going to do a little video today to um, uh, kind of contradict some of the videos that are out there regarding the range and cold weather. So I just got in to the truck. I'm going to start it up here. As you can see, uh, my charging port is a jar. I'll be right back. All right, I'm back. So as you can see, if I can get this to focus, I have a hundred percent charge at 189 mile range. And this is, um, I've been driving this in cold conditions. Oh, for quite a few weeks now. You can see we got 37 degrees. Um, I'm gonna put this on my power usage here. All zeros right now. Um, we have a pretty good, uh, I'd say 15, 20 mile an hour wind, maybe gusting 25 to 30 at times coming from the east. This trip I'm going to be going 30, three miles or 32 and a half miles approximately um and i will be headed mostly east so this will be going against a pretty good headwind um again 37 degrees we're in wisconsin for december in wisconsin that's not terribly cold um but uh, I got a lot of other factors working against me, such as the headwind, and it is raining slightly at the moment, uh, which doesn't help either. So, um, just, you know, I did precondition the battery somewhat. I don't think it fully preconditioned. Um, right now, I'm going to turn my heated steering wheel and heat did see it off but I do have my one-year-old with me on this trip um, so I'm gonna keep keep the heat going at 68 degrees there um, just pulling out of the driveway after we sat there for a minute I'm a mile in and I'm at 1.4 uh, kilo miles per kilowatt hour I have seen, uh, there just went to 1.3, um, but we'll see, this should go up, and I have seen some videos, um, specifically one that they were driving in 30 to 33 degrees, and got about 1.2 miles per kilowatt hour which just to me seems like uh, they must have had the heat blaring, the, all the heated steering wheel, heated seats on. Um, it just, uh, I, I don't know how they got that bad of range, but um, we'll see what we get here. My drive to work today, again, about 33 miles. Um, so I'll update you as we go. Um, there was a flag, I just missed it to show the wind, but here's another one. Uh, it was quick, but if you saw that, um, we do got a pretty good wind that I'm gonna be traveling against for the majority of this trip, so. Um, I'll keep you updated. So I just wanna show everyone that it is raining here a little bit seems to be getting a little worse um, and just to start here I went five miles so far 4% um, climate use that's gonna go up most likely 3% no but um, the preconditioning of the cabin while it's still charging definitely helps that um, as you can see right now, the exterior temperature is at 11%. Usually that goes down from what I've been seeing as I drive, um, as the battery it, it warms up and, and stays warm 
after driving a distance that doesn't affect it quite as much um, so that's where I'm at right now I have 100 183 miles and I've gone 5.8 so so far the gaso meter is pretty spot on but I've only traveled six miles so um, I will let you know this this little section on my drive is through town um, my son has things to say back there but um, but most of it is on state highways uh, I'll be going five over so 60 miles an hour um, it's another big factor that I've seen in some of these videos people are going 75 miles an hour the whole way that's gonna have a major effect uh, the faster you go so um, I'll keep you posted another update here uh, I've gone 20 miles now. Been traveling for 28 minutes. Uh, 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour. I'm really uh, bucking that headwind now. Um, as you can see, the exterior temperature is at 7%. 37 degrees still. 5 minute use went up to 6. A um, little bit for accessories. And I'm at 166 miles, so um, I've lost uh, 20.8. So I've lost maybe three miles um, on the gaso meter, which isn't terrible in my opinion. Uh, like I said, these are not ideal conditions. It's roads are wet. Um, the, the wind is terrible and it's fairly cold out so um, we'll see what we have when, when I get to work just wanted to capture here on part of my trip um, this hill is, is something to say the least it's uh I don't take my crews off here. This is a pretty steep grade right now. And the truck just cruises right up it. Kind of a sharper curve here. Handles it beautifully. You can hear that wind now up on top of the hill here. It's it's uh it's howling out there. And now I am dead against the wind. For the rest of the trip all right so i just got here um 31.3 miles and we have 153 miles left so if i do my math correctly that would be about oh five miles a little less than five miles uh less that we lost um on the gasometer so 1.8 miles per kilowatt hour again that was rain um a 20 mile an hour headwind the whole way and we dropped a degree we're at 36 degrees now so um i'm not seeing as bad of range as what some of these videos are showing um i'm not sure what they're doing different but um, I just wanted to show this video so that people aren't scared away from these electric trucks, even with the standard range battery, um, because I'm not, I'm really not seeing it be that bad. And we've had some colder days, some, you know, 20 degree weather, and it still um, wasn't horrible. Um, obviously the range does go down. You're gonna have to expect that a little bit. Um, I started with 189 miles. I should be at, you know, 220, 230 starting if it was warm weather. Um, but it's, it's not like cut in half, like, like some of these videos are showing. So, um, 
that's all. Hopefully this helps someone.